Hi there and welcome to today's video. We're going to be looking at making an Andy Warhol style flower collage using um, a picture of a photograph of a flower that we're going to add a half tone pattern to invert and then paint some colours and then do lots of hue and saturation changes. You can see here I've got it open in Photoshop and I've also got it in Photop which is a free online version that you can use anywhere in the world for free. Just type in photop.com. Now, in the Photoshop version, I'm going to talk you through step by step, and I'll show you the same thing over in Photop. Okay, here we go. So first, we're going to need to have a photograph of a flower. Here's one of a dahlia that I took a little while ago that I've used before in one of my videos, and I'm going to talk you through the process of converting it into an Andy Warhol style. First thing we're going to need to do is make sure it is rasterized. So we're going to go over to the layer menu and rasterize it so that it is all good. Then we're going to go up to the filter gallery. And we're going to go open the filter gallery. We're going to look for the sketch section and we're looking for a half tone pattern. We can adjust the size of the pattern to its how we want it and the contrast how we like it as well in these two dials here. Once we're happy with how that looks, we click OK. And we now need to invert it so that the light bits go dark and the dark bits go light. So to do that, we go to image adjustments and we're looking for the word invert and we invert it there and you can now see we've got the pattern and the picture of the flower ready to add the um, color obviously Andy Warhol was a screen printer and he used to screen print things so he'd do it in a similar way and this would be the holes from the screen printing so we're gonna make a brand new layer which is the button down here above it we're gonna make sure that the layer is set to multiply and we're gonna come down to our colors and we're gonna choose some Colors with the slidey rainbow here and the big square there, so that we've got a nice central yellow color. We're going to go up to our paintbrush. I like to use a soft edge brush, and to find that, you go into general brushes and click soft round. Make sure it's the right kind of size so that you can do this quite quickly. And then I'm going to paint in the middle of the flower a nice yellow color, like so. Then I'm going to go down to my colors, I'm going to choose it a nice red. And I'm going to paint in the petals. We want that sort of not very neat effect that we will get. If I can't see, I'll move the layers out of the way. Paint around here. So I'm going for that kind of low tech effect. So nice red colors here. And once I've done that, I'll go to my colors, which is a nice green. And we've got a really bright green in the background, so I this bit is all bright green. I can change the size of my brush to make it a bit quicker. And you can see I'm adding colour to this part of the image. And the great thing about this is obviously we want that sort of pop art-y feel, so nice bright colours. And I think we'll do slightly darker green for the bottom half. So if we go down, make it slightly darker down here. And we can add some layer into it here. So it takes a little while to paint all this in. There we go. Fairly happy with how that looks. So that is my first part of the Andy Warhol technique. Once I've done this, I'll need to go to File and Save As. I'll save it on my computer. And I'll put Andy Warhol. Oh, I don't want to worry about calling it P. Okay. Then you can see from the next steps, we're going to have lots of them. So the easiest way of doing this is to make sure I flatten my image. So I'm going to go to layer. I'm going to go to flatten image. And you can see I've now got one image. I'll unlock it. And I want to go to edit, transform, and scale. Now, you see the percentages here. They're locked together with this button here. If I want to make lots of them, I'm going to go for 30%. 30% 30, 30 well, not 300, 30%. Press enter. And you can see I've now got one bit, small bit of it. Move it up to the corner. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer. So I'm going to go to, sorry, there, duplicate layer. Click OK. I've now got another version. Bring that over to the middle here. Now, depending how big you want your gaps, you can see 
30 was probably a bit too small. I'll duplicate that one as well. And bring that one over here. Move the layer menu out the way a minute. I think we're going to go in a bit like that. Go back to my layer menu. Click on this layer. Bring that over a bit. Click on this layer. Bring that over a bit as well. Then we need to do this a few more times. So layer. You can duplicate the layers in the layer menu up here as well if you want, which makes it easier. You don't have the menu in the way, so we're going to go layer, duplicate layer, click OK, bring it over. And we're going to go layer, duplicate layer, and you can see it's a very repetitive process at the moment. Layer, and duplicate layer, click OK, bring it down there. Layer, duplicate layer, two more goes of this, and then we have got our nine. You could do it with four, or you could do it with more. It's up to you how often you want to do this. And you can now see I have my lovely Andy Warhol layout. So because I made it a little bit too big, I'm just going to crop it down a little bit using the prop tool. Press enter, and there we go. So the next bit is a really fun bit. We go to the layers. We start with the first layer that we did, which is down here, which is called layer 0 copy. We go to image, adjustments, and hue, and saturation, and we are going to be adjusting the hue. So we move the slidey bar along till we find a nice hue set, set up that we enjoy. Maybe one about there would look good, so click OK. Then we click on to the layers, and we choose the next layer. Now, we go to image, adjustments, and we go to our hue saturation, do the same thing here, changing the hue to where we want it, click OK. We go to our layers, click on this layer, go to image, adjustments, hue saturation, and we adjust the hue on this one, click OK, we do it on the next one, we go to image, adjustments, hue saturation, and we do it on this one. Click OK, do it to the next layer. Image, adjustments, hue saturation. OK, three more to go. Image, adjustments, hue saturation. OK, go to Image, Adjustments, View Saturation again. Click OK, and then do the last one, Image, Adjustments, and then View Saturation one more time. And then click OK, and then hide that. And you can see there is our Andy Warhol style response. Okay, to do that in PhotoP, I won't show you the whole steps, but basically you go over to the setup in PhotoP, you can open the photographs, it's this one, click open, and you go to filter, filter gallery, For some reason, filter gallery is not working very well today. Let's get one that I've already done. File, open. The thing with PhotoP, it can get quite glitchy, as you can see here. Layers, and you can see there's one that I've done the filter to half tone portrait as well, and then we add the coloured layer again, like so. Then we would do the similar thing. We'll go to layer, look for flatten image, and then we will go to the layer menu, unlock it, press enter first, and then we will scale it, so edit, transform, scale, and we'll put the lock button there and we'll do it 30% in here. 
and you can see we've got a baby one and then we'll just duplicate that like i showed you before in photoshop exactly the same way and we'll end up with this and we'll do the same thing image adjustments view saturation and we'll do that to each layer and you can see that moving the cube bar has the same effect as in photoshop okay so there you have it that's how to do an andy warhol response in photo p and or photoshop obviously with photo p because it's online it can get quite glitchy and um, i always recommend photoshop if you've got the money but if you haven't obviously photo p will work just as well and um yeah have fun making your own versions okay and if you've enjoyed this video pop along to quantum carp to nature flowers hit that subscribe button and tick the notification bell to be notified when i make my next videos okay thanks for watching and goodbye